But the hardest question is, how do you say your name? Man will have stolen my home, and now she's back. It's not fair that I, as the homeowner, should be having to go through this. There's rules to the as you gotta go to court and send me to civil court. If y'all don't stop this foolishness. Get ready. Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Hey tea sippers, I hope you guys are doing good today. So there is a lot of drama going on right now in the housing scene. If you guys remember over a year ago, I did um, a video about this Atlanta Airbnb owner who was, you know, Airbnb in her condo and the person just decided they weren't gonna leave. They were gonna just stay put and act like they owned the place. This was a mess, this went viral all over social media. So let me go ahead and refresh your memory. There you go, y'all. Straight to the kitchen. I ain't going nowhere. So deal with it. On top of her ass just intruded into my dog, she disrespected me. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, I've been trying to do the right way. I done went down there and got the, <clears throat> the, the all the paperwork that I need to do to get her ass evicted out of my house, whatever. But that shit is a process. I have to go through protocols and all the other stupid legal blah, 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 bull. And then I just got them. The police just like just left my house. And I'm like, get this out my house they're like oh she's a tenant now she's a tenant oh, there's nothing you and the police oh, okay my door that's all i know <laughs> yo door this is my house how about you get the out of my house how about that's what you do how about you get the out of my house how about you get the out of my house how about you get <sighs> honey so y'all remember that video first and foremost i'm trying to figure out why she had the lady's face blurred Bitches like that, you put them all the way on blast, okay? Let their job know how they get down. Let their family know how they get down. The family, I probably already know. Let the neighborhood know how they get down. So I really would have put her on blast. I would have protected her, protected her, you know, put a little screen on her face. None of that shit. Y'all would have known her first and last name, social security card, whatever. You know, so at this point, this was a year ago. And so I have been talking about the whole squatting situation for a while now. It definitely got even worse after C-19. And so that's one of my biggest fears. That's why I don't really, I don't feel comfortable getting into the whole rental property situation because that is my biggest fear that somebody will just squat and not get their ass up and will literally take over your home. And there's so many laws that for whatever reason, protect the squatter. And one thing about these damn squatters, oh, they know the laws in and out. They know all the loopholes. So now there's a story that's going viral all over social media. And guess where it took place? In Flushing, Queens, okay? So she inherited a house in Flushing, Queens. So some squatters kicked her out in one of those crushing scenes. What was she to do? Where was she to go? She was out on her fanny, okay? So no, this is not the nanny named Fran, but it's another lady child. She done inherited a home. And these damn squatters done took over the home that she inherited. And literally, she ends up getting arrested. So this is going viral all over social media. This is a hot ass mess. So we're going to go ahead and watch this. I'm going to react to this situation because it pissed me off when I heard about it. I don't know the law. Yeah, there's laws. Oh, you shouldn't be trying to steal my house. Yes, you are. You don't even how about that? A squatter standoff. A property owner confronts a group of people she says moved into her million dollar home in Queens and our cameras were rolling as dozens of officers showed up. Several people were taken away in handcuffs and one of those arrested may surprise you. Investigative reporter Dan Krauth joins us now with more on what happened. Tell us, Dan. Well, this is a very big growing problem. I received dozens of tips from viewers about this in just the past week. I went to do what I thought was going to be a routine interview. Instead, we capture what police and property owners are dealing with on a daily basis. I have video of you. Who are you? 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 He's not on the lease. He doesn't own the deed. And he got there to be asking, who are these people? No, 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 no. The only question, sir, is who the fuck are you? 
in this lady's house? That That's the question that we all want to know as the audience watching this fuckery unfold, okay? understand okay. how this day ended. We need the police right away. With multiple 911 calls and arrests, we have to start at the beginning. Adele, the hardest question is how do you say your name? We met Adele and Deloro outside the home her parents left her in Flushing, Queens. She's in the process of selling it. No, he left it. But she's been locked out. She claims squatters moved in on February 6 and refused to leave. What's it like being here knowing you can't go inside of your own home? It's enraging. It really is. In New York, squatters have rights after 30 days. By the time that someone does their investigation and they do their work and their job, will be well over the 30 days, and this man will have stolen my home. And now she's back. Just after wrapping up our interview, a woman showed up. What are you doing in the house? Are you renting this house? I'm not renting this. Why are you here? She unlocked the front door, saw our camera. Why are we giving these bums anonymity? Why is her face covered? She should be blasted. She has a key to a home that she does not own. She's unlocking the front door. She's about to help herself into the house. Why is her face pixelated? Blast her so that way she can be shamed as she walks down the street in Flushing, Queens. Shame. 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 Like, I don't understand this. Why are we protecting these squatters? It, it just makes no sense. Lesson took off. It's open. Let's go in the house. It's open. Adele and her daughter, with the property deed in hand, went inside. This is my furniture. These are my curtains. She didn't just find her belongings inside. There's a man sleeping right there. Get out of my house. She found two men. How long have you lived here? I moved here about two days ago. They've called the police on me and I've- You can't make this up. There are two men sleeping in her house. <laughs> it's, it's not funny, but it's low key funny. Like the fact that these people have no shame. They don't own this home and these two men are in here and knocked out sleep. You had a woman that was getting ready to go up in there, but then, you know, she hurt up and ran off. Like, this is insane to me. I've called the locksmiths. I didn't come in illegally. The door was open. Police started interviewing neighbors and looking for documents. Do you have something that shows that you've been here for more than 30 days? They took the man who told me he had been renting for two days out in handcuffs. They got one out. And escorted the other guy off the property. Now you're afraid to come out. I'm not coming out. This house is empty. This is my home. My locksmith is on the corner waiting to change my locks. And that's not fair. It's not fair that I as the homeowner should be having to go through this. How are you doing? Minutes later, a locksmith showed up. But police gave her a warning before they left. I may end up in handcuffs today if this man shows up here and says that I have illegally evicted him. I said to them, let him take me to court the way I've been told to take him to court. But today, I'm not leaving my house. Less than 10 minutes after police left and the locks were chained. The man who claims to be the one actually leasing the house shows up. Call the police again. With the other guy, police took off the property. Do you see this? Wait, not them coming back. I thought he was arrested and down at Central Booking. What is the man that the police just arrested not even five minutes before this? How's he back? How's he out of jail that fast? So that means they didn't even take him down to jail. They just drove him up the street and kept it pushing. This is insane. And now they got the nerve to be coming back and trying to fight her to get back in the house. And she just paid to change the locks. You can't make this up. This, this guy just literally broke down my door broke through myself and my daughter to get in here. This guy just forced himself into my house. No, he did not. Yes, he did. No, he did. And he so did problem. you. Yeah. You broke through the front door. Officer. The man called the police on her. So why is it that I have to leave and he doesn't have to leave? Because technically he can't be kicked out. He needs to go to court. They consider this a landlord tenant issue. And by law, it has to be handled through the housing court, not with police. If you own this house, you would not want I her inside. House. I don't own this house. Exactly. Yes. She does. Yes. But then once again, you should know how law works. I and do know how it there's, works. There's rules to this as you got to go to court and send me to civil court. He says he signed a lease in October, but wouldn't tell us with who. I got proof longer than that. Show us the proof. Well, who are you for me to show? I showed it to cops. Dan with Channel 7 News. Hold up, not him saying who are you for me to show you the proof. It's not your home, sir. Like, it's the sense of entitlement. It's the arrogance for me. You notice all of these trash ass squatters, they know the laws. She has to take me down to court. This is a civil matter. Troll. I know my rights. So he obviously knows what he's doing, you know? And the fact that he's like, well, who are you for me to show you the proof? Well, who are you to be in this woman's home? You don't own this home. Like, this is just mind boggling at this point.
news. If you don't want to show it, you don't I'll want show to show it. Fool. Come here, brother. I like that. I would, I would like to see it. He didn't show me a lease. This, this is a bill. Is a bill for work he says he had done to the house. He didn't show police a lease either. The police department doesn't have the lease? No. He's got no documentation. Just bills. So, Adele, you're getting arrested right now? I'm being arrested. For what? For being, a, for being in house, my man. For being in my own home. And, it's not, it's not and where's your lease? She's fighting the house. It's not her house anymore. My deed That's is current and legal. Arrested for unlawful eviction. She changed the locks on a man who claims he lives there. So how does this all end then? When do you the, leave? The way it ends is, is either she pays me my money that I put into the house, pay me the money, and I'll leave, or send me to court, and we deal with the judge in court. It's that simple. It's not that simple. It's a long process. Eviction can take close to two years to complete. Child, y'all gonna keep playing with people and y'all gonna fuck around and find out. I'm sorry, like, I think at some point in time, this is gonna end up ending bad for a lot of people who feel this sense of entitlement to squat in somebody else's home. You know, they think that these laws protect them. Um, these laws are not gonna protect y'all from a bullet, okay? Y'all keep on fucking with people in their homes. There's gonna be a lot of, you know what I'm saying, slow singing and flower bringing. Be a lot of slow singing and flower bringing if my burglar alarm starts ringing. If y'all don't stop this foolishness, and this is happening all over the country. It's not just Flushing, Queens. It's just not in Atlanta. It's really bad in LA as well. You know, where people, you know, they may live in your house as renters and they just decide, hey, I don't feel like paying rent anymore. You know what I'm saying? And because they've been in there over 30 days, these laws protect them. And the unfortunate thing is that this ends up being on the homeowner. Because even though somebody is living in your property, not paying you rent, guess what? You still have to pay taxes on that home, which is messed up. So the person who's squatting, they're not liable or responsible for any taxes on the home. Well, hell, they're not even paying rent, so of course they're not going to pay taxes. But it's very interesting how the state or the city, they don't go after these squatters for tax money. Everything is on the, on the homeowner. So I just think this entire situation is insane. It has caused a lot of controversy online. Everybody's weighing in on this story. The fact that she was arrested, the fact that he had the audacity he had the balls to call the police on her and say that she was in his home, to me is insane. And the fact that the police even played into it and arrested her. But meanwhile, him and his buddy were just removed out of the house and came back five minutes later. It's like, you can't make this crap up. And I also find it interesting how the guy is trying to say, oh, uh, I did work on this house. She needs to pay me for the work I did on this house. Just because you did work, let's just say his story is factual. We know he's a lying piece of shit. But let's just say he's telling the truth, right? Even if she paid you to do work on the house, that does not entitle you to move into her home and just take over the place. You know what I'm saying? So who were the other people that were in the home as well? Was that part of your working crew? Like, that just doesn't make any sense. The sense of entitlement is just insane and in how he's trying to blame her, but he's taking over her home. And... You know, we're hearing about these situations more and more, and I don't know if because people are, you know, not as bold as they were back in the day, but you didn't really hear about squatters back in the day, because I'm telling you, this was back in like the 80s when people just didn't give a fuck in the 80s, child. You know, the 80s, you know, Gen X and the boomers, they were taking over. There were no Gen Zers back then. They didn't care. People were not going to come home to their home in the 80s and find a whole family or some squatters living there. They'd probably be buried in the backyard because that's how folks got down in the 80s, okay? Folks probably ended up missing because people back in the day, they, they took matters into their own hands. They're not calling the police. They're not going down to court and paying all these court fees. They're going to whoop your ass, okay? Um, they might mess around and burn down the house with you in it. The roof is on fire. The roof. The roof. The roof, the roof is on fire. The roof is on fire. We don't need no water to make that mother burn. That's what these people don't realize. Like, you guys are playing with fire. You know, while y'all are sitting here squatting in people's houses, how do you know they might not mess with the gas, you know what I'm saying, and, and, and do some shit with the carbon monoxide in that house and you just don't wake up? You know, I, I just find this whole situation sad. And like I said, it's happening more and more. So you guys have to be very, very careful, especially if you guys are playing the landlord game and renting property. Please make sure you try and vet people to the best of your ability. But even some people that you vet with good credit and good jobs, you know, we've had situations where people just decided, hey, I'm not paying rent no more. I'm about to go, you know, on vacation and I got other bills to pay, but rent is not one of them. And it's really sad that it's like that. Um, also with Airbnb, you definitely want to be careful with that. 
Um, I would not do anything longer than 30 days. I've told people about that before in the past. Do not let out your Airbnb longer than 30 days because then technically in certain states, they become a resident of the home and they technically don't have to move out. So you want to keep it 15 days or less per person, per contractual agreement. Um, also, if you have an empty property, something that you're inheriting or you know something that's empty until you can find a renter, make sure you guys have security cameras, you have a ring alarm, simply safe, something that alerts you and lets you know that somebody has broken into the home. Because again, if you don't have any security cameras, like I don't think this lady did, um, by the time you find out if they've been there 30 days, there's not going to be anything you can do. You have to, Then it's going to be a civil matter. So, you know, definitely do a lot of preventative things. So that way you don't end up in this woman's situation, which is a hot damn mess. Like, she's a good one. Because I'm, I'm sorry, um, we would have been deep. The whole crew would have came out. Family, friends, kids, we would have whooped all they ass. Y'all got to go. I'm not even entertaining this, okay? If I got to go to jail, we're all going to jail, okay? We're all going to, it's going to be a big ass Royal Rumble in the front yard. I'm just saying. So anyways, y'all, with that being said, I look forward to reading y'all's comments down below. Let me know what you guys think about this crazy story with these squatters and why do you guys think squatting is becoming more and more prevalent and how come, you know, the, the law is literally not doing anything about it and these poor homeowners, you know, some of them are going into foreclosure because they cannot afford to, you know, cover the cost of these homes plus taxes plus with somebody living there. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to like the video and feel free to share the video and I will talk to y'all later. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sir, your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.